Hey guys, Neil Bryan here, and yes, I have jumped on the Pokemon Go bandwagon. So I want to help you guys out. I put in the title this as 40,000K plus. Uh, experience per hour before people get upset at me this is common knowledge if you already know how to evolve for 500 experience and use an egg to get an additional thousand feel free to turn this video off but if this is something you have not figured out yet then hopefully I'm going to instruct you on something that's going to be helpful to get you up now you're not going to be able to earn 40,000 experience an hour for every hour that you play you're going to have to prepare you're going to have to uh, enlarge your inventory. Now the basis for this is you're going to be using uh, Caterpies, uh, Pidgeys, and uh, I think there's one other. Uh, the key is you want to find things that you can evolve for only 12 candy. Weedles, that's another one. So Caterpies, Weedles, uh, and Pidgeys. Around here, don't know why, I catch a lot of Pidgeys. And before you get upset going, ah, another Pidgey, I'll just get it for the Stardust. Actually collect those things, get the candy, because whenever you pop an egg and get double experience for 30 minutes, you can just marathon evolve those things. Here's the thing that I was surprised to learn, is I thought once I evolved something, I got 500 experience, because it went in the Pokedex and all that. I thought it was kind of like when you caught something thereafter, it'd probably just be worth 100 experience. That is not true. Try it and you'll see. So what you want to do is collect up. And let me show you what I got here. All right, so let's go to my Pidgeys because I seem to catch more Pidgeys than anything else. Um, da -dum -dum. Okay, so as you can see right now, I have seven Pidgeys. And if you open one of them, you'll see uh, I currently have 68 candies. So if you do a little bit of math on that, uh, 68 candies uh, divided by 12 means I could update five Pidgeys. So if I pop an egg and I update all five of those, that's going to give me 5,000 experience. You want to save those eggs until you have a good uh, probably 12 to 20 of these Pidgeys, Caterpies, and Weedles. Now you can do others as well if you want, but you need to keep in mind end game strategy. So if you're, if you're evolving some that require 50 candy, but later you want to evolve the next stage that does 100 candy, you may want to save up on those candies. So this is basically, you'll see the, the evolve takes 12 candies, those are the ones that you want to do this on. So let me let me show you real quick. I'm going to evolve this Pidgey. And this is the only thing. It's a little bit time consuming. So when your eggs are burning, your 30 minute eggs burning, it's kind of a, a stressor. But this really is the best way to get a lot of experience uh, very quickly when you're using the eggs. It's probably one of the best lever uses of leveraging those eggs uh, to their maximum. Okay, so see, I have got him up, and I'll minimize that and close that, and you'll see down here, I get an additional 500 experience. So if I had an egg right now, that would have been a 1,000. So I don't do any more. Obviously, I don't have enough right now to do 30 minutes worth of cramming to get the 20 to 30,000 experience that I could get in a 30 minute time span. Like I said, it's common knowledge. There's no tricks to this. Uh, if you already knew this, I hope you enjoyed the sound of my voice, otherwise this video was a waste of time for you. If you didn't know this, do that. Leverage it. Collect those Pidgeys, collect the Weedles, collect those Caterpies that only cost 12 candy to upgrade, uh, and then use the eggs at that time. Uh, one of my favorite things to do, I go out to the park, we've got like three of the uh, Poke Spots nearby, uh, and they're usually lured by someone, uh, or if I have any, I'll lure them myself, and I'll spend about 30 minutes just collecting uh, Pokemon and and, and leveling up or evolving my Pokemon to get a lot of experience. It's easy to go up, uh, especially when you're, you're level 15 or below. It's easy to go up two or three levels, uh, especially if you pop two eggs. So that's it. Uh, that, that's my tip. This is going to be more for newer players than it is advanced because, as I said, uh, it's, it's fairly common knowledge. There's not a trick to this. This isn't any kind of hack. This is just the way that the game operates. I hope that's helpful to you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure and click subscribe below for more Let's Plays and tutorials on some of these things. Check out some of my other videos. And until next time, bye-bye.